Welcome to this new video. To prepare for Google Authenticator integration we need to implement a custom user. Today we are going to expand our project with users and permissions from a database. We start with the palm XML file. We have two new dependencies. Spring Boot Starter JDBC and MariaDB Java Client. Because we are using JDBC we need to create a schema SQL file. Most viewers will recognize the users and authorities tables from previous videos. The users info table is new. We have username as primary key. Is account non-expired? Is account not locked? Is credentials non-expired? Security question. Security answer. MFA secret. MFA key ID. MFA enabled. MFA registered. And security question enabled. In the security config class we have a new bean, custom user detail service with the JDBC template. The in-memory user details manager has been removed. We now have three new classes to configure the custom users. In the user record we have all the fields of the database. The custom user details implements user details and overrides all necessary methods and the get user method that we use later in the services and controllers. The last class is custom user detail service which implements user detail service. With one method load user by username here we load the user from the database and convert the data to a user object. We make JDBC template available with constructor injection. Because we have quite a few fields in the database, the code is quite extensive but not that difficult to understand. The last classes we need to go over are the MFA handler. Here we have a small adjustment. If MFA enabled is not active, we skip the multi-factor part and immediately get the access token. In the login controller class we also have a number of conditions. If MFA registered is not active, we will redirect to the registration page. In the validate code method we first check if the code is correct and then if the security question enabled is not active. This way we can determine in the database whether we are using the security question endpoint. To retrieve the user data from the request we have a private get user method. Here we remove the user from the security context, this is necessary because we work with an anonymous authentication token. I would like to briefly look at the data in the database. We have five users that we can use to test the project. You can find all the code on GitHub and test the project with this test data. Thank you for following our channel and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. In the next video we will implement Ghoul Authenticator in this project. This way we get a fully functioning multi-factor authenticator project. Thank you.